There once was a little girl who was also curious about life. She spent a great deal of time with her two grandmothers in Jamaica, Grandma Dell and Grandma Elaine. Now you see, as little and curious as their granddaughter was, she was also very impressionable and looked for a role model in almost anyone, especially her two grandmothers who she loved oh so dearly. However, both grandmothers were very different to each other and the little girl struggled to figure out who she wants to be more like when she gets older. Grandma Del or Grandma Elaine who insisted on being called Tauza. Innocently, she confesses all of this to her mother and this is what she said. Mommy, you know what? Grandma Del lives in a pretty little house with white lace curtain at every window. Her house is so nice and cozy. She even has baby chickens. Mommy, you know Grandma Del knows everyone? Mommy, did you go to Sunday school? Grandma Del loves to go to church. She makes me wear dresses to go. I cannot imagine how a girl child could leave home with nothing but blue jeans and t-shirts and shorts and not a single church dress. Grandma Del is so old-fashioned. Mommy, you know Grandma Del loves to comb my hair. She says, Your hair is long and thick. You should use castor oil to rub it every night. But Grandma Eileen, I mean Toza, she says not to call her that anymore. I'm getting too big. She said that, Your mother and father should really start doing something about your hair though. I warned your mother about that from the start. I said, honey, you're in love, but what about the kids' hair? If you were my daughter, I'd simply cut the hair out and try to get some of the king's out. I really wish my granddaughter would leave me alone and allow me to go to hell in peace. Mommy, what does Tauza have against my skin and hair? Grandma Del says, Your skin beautiful, like honey, and all in all, you are a fine brown lady and make sure to grow beautiful inside as you are outside. Mommy, Tauza is so feisty and she always curses in front of me. Mommy, you know she always goes on dates. Mommy, do you know that Tauza wears makeup? But Grandma Del doesn't agree. She says, You shouldn't paint your face. It is written in the Bible that it's a sin. Mommy, you know what Tauza said to me when I told her what Grandma Del said? Darling, the way your Grandma Del looks and conducts herself, <laughs> she couldn't be anything but a grandmother. To be besides, she and I are from two totally different generations. Mommy, you know Tauza doesn't like me going by Grandma Del. She says, She's done absolutely nothing fantastic with her life except for the making of your father. <sighs> Other than that, she's just a country bunkin. From the deepest, darkest waters. I really don't know what your mother thinks making you spend so much of time down there. It's embarrassing to hear some of the things you come up with sometimes. Mommy! When I was at Grandma Del's house and Polly was teaching me how to whistle, guess what Grandma Del said to me? A whistling woman and a crowing hen is an abomination to the Lord. Mommy, she also said that I shouldn't play with Polly too much. Be careful and don't spend so much time with that Polly. She beginning to back chat and she getting very forced, right? Mommy, what force right mean? Mommy, you know what the girls at school say? They say that I'm the prettiest girl at school and I can be Miss Jamaica. When I'm big, I go to the gym like you so I can keep my figure. Mommy, when I'm all like Grandma Tauza, will men tell me I'm beautiful too? Can I have my hair relaxed as soon as I'm tough like you promise? Will you allow me to enter Miss Jamaica when I'm old enough? Will I ever have to wear braces? Mom, when I go to Miami, can I get a training bra? Mm. 
Mom, do I have to go to Grandma Dell's again? It's so boring. She criticizes everything I do, as if I'm still a baby. My child, you're too young to be wearing heels, even little ones. When I lip glass and blusher. Mommy, am I really a nigga? Mommy, how can I be beautiful? My skin is so dark, my hair is so coarse. Eh, Mommy? As we see, the granddaughter began fulfilling the advice given by one of her grandmothers, even though she loved them both very much. As she got older, she began to think like Towser. However, with this, she began rejecting all that is natural and all that makes her her. Unfortunately, she decided to create an identity that best suits her. But will this really make her happy? We can only hope that it's not too late and one day she can go back to, to being the happy, innocent Jamaican girl we met who was happy with herself when she spent her time in Jamaica with her two grandmothers.